friends guess who has come to meet us today jumbo and jimbo the clowns let us understand the concept of division with them to begin we will distribute four bottles equally between jumbo and jimbo how many will each one get one two one two each one of them got two bottles now there are six bottles to be equally shared between jumbo and jimbo how many will each one get one two one two one two wow each one gets three bottles look who joined jumbo and jimbo jojo the clown so now we need to distribute nine bottles equally between jumbo jimbo and jojo how many will each one get well done three bottles to each one in all these examples we shared the number of objects equally according to the number of groups needed this is called dividing into equal groups or division thus when a total number of things or objects are distributed into equal groups we carry out the operation called division did you know division is actually repeated subtraction how let us see with jojo the clown hey look jojo has eight colorful balloons in his hand jojo has to divide them into groups of two therefore he ties two balloons from eight now he is left with six balloons in his hand again he ties two more balloons from six so now he is left with four balloons in his hand one more time he ties two more balloons from four he is left with two balloons in his hand lastly he ties the remaining two balloons oops he is left with zero balloons in his hand when jojo tied eight balloons into equal groups of two he got four groups here he tied the same number repeatedly he showed this with repeated subtraction this process of repeated subtraction is called division we write it as 8 then symbol of division then 2 now put the equal to sign and then the number 4 we read it as 8 divided by 2 is 4 this symbol is used to show division look at this solved example on division let us learn the terms of division a number that divides another number is called the divisor here number 2 is the divisor the number to be divided is called the dividend here number 8 is the dividend 
the answer that we get on dividing the numbers is called the quotient. Here, number 4 is the quotient. The number that remains after dividing is called the remainder. Here, number 0 is the remainder. Did you notice that the quotient is equal to the number of times we subtracted? Now friends, I will ask you a question. Let me see if you can answer it. We have a large number which we want to separate evenly into groups. What do we do? Bingo! We divide. Now, let's understand how to write the division sentences with the help of the division symbol. Let's take the help of Jumbo, Jimbo, Jojo and their apples to do this. Look how the apples have been divided between the three of them. We can write the division sentence for this in two ways. One way to write the division sentence is how many groups? So we can say there are 12 apples. How many clowns will get 4 apples each? To find the answer, we have to divide and we write the division sentence like this. 12 divided by 4 is equal to how much? Do you know how many times 4 is 12? Yes, 3. And that is the answer. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So 3 clowns will get 4 apples each. Another way to write the division sentence for this is How many in each group? So we say there are 12 apples and there are 3 clowns. How many apples will each clown get? We write the division sentence for this like this. 12 divided by 3 is equal to how much? So, how many times 3 is 12? Correct! 4! So, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, each clown will get 4 apples. Wasn't that easy to learn with Jumbo, Jimbo and Jojo? And it was fun too.